Hello guys, welcome to the next lecture on the multivariate distribution. Today, I will explain you how you can find the distribution of the sample mean. That means how you can find the distribution of x bar. Myself, Dr. Harish Gar. You can follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of the applied multivariate statistics and you can see the various lectures related to the bivariate and the multivariate normal distribution in this playlist. We have described the maximum likelihood estimators of the sample mean and the covariance matrix in our last lecture. You can subscribe my YouTube channel so that you can get your notification when I uploaded the next video very soon. Now what is the objective of this lecture? As we have seen in our univariate distribution, whenever the random sample xi follows the normal distribution, then the sample mean x bar will also follow the normal distribution whose mean is my mu and sig variance is sigma square divided by n, where n is the sample size, where n is my sample size. Now, corresponding to this, we can define the distribution of the sample mean when x follows my multivariate normal distribution. The purpose is very simple. I have to transform the theory of the univariate to the multivariate normal distribution. What is the result is? The result is similar. Now, if you have x size, these are the samples of size n, which are independent and the random, and it comes from the normal multivariate normal distribution. Remember, this n, p, mu, and sigma, where this p is called as dimension of the multivariate normal distribution, mu is called as the mean vector, and sigma is called as covariance matrix fine this covariance matrix is also called as dispersion matrix fine and this matrix is always symmetric this matrix is always positive definite now once you have the random samples from this multivariate normal distribution then the sample mean will also follow the multivariate normal distribution with the mean mu and the variance or the covariance matrix is sigma divided by n. So the purpose is very simple and it is easy to prove that. My target is to find the expected value of the x bar and the covariance of the x bar. Remember, what is my x bar is? That is the sample mean x1 plus x2 plus xn divided by n. Fine. Now let's start with this. Co uh, firstly find the mean of this. What is the mean? 1 over n is outside. Then it is expected value of x1 plus x2 plus up to xn. Fine. Now you can write this is, if I open this bracket, it is expected value of x1 plus expected value of x2 plus and so on. Now since, what is the x size? x size are obtained from the multivariate normal distribution whose mean is my mu. So that means this number is my mu. I can say this is mu plus mu and so on. So what is the result of this? That comes to be mu is the right up. And you can see it's n mu divided by n. So that comes to be mean. So therefore, the sample mean has the mean, the expected value of the sample mean is my mu. Now for this, I have to start the covariance, covariance of x bar, fine. Again, I can substitute the value of the x bar. What is the x bar is sum divided by n, fine. Now I can use the property. What is the covariance of ax? It is a square, covariance of x. So it is a 1 over n. I can return as 1 over n square. Now x i's are my independent. Remember, this value I can return as n square covariance of x1 plus x2 plus xn. Now, since x i's are my independent, so I can open this bracket as covariance of x1 plus covariance of x2 plus covariance of xn. Or, because x i's are independent, you can write from this, I can write summation i varies from 1 to n covariance of x i fine because x i are my independent now what is that 
xi follows my normal distribution multivariate normal distribution with the mean and the covariance matrix what does it implies covariance of xi is my covariance matrix if i substitute here this will be n times of this so 1 n will be cancel out it comes to be sigma divided by n hence what does it means x bar will follows the multivariate normal distribution with the mean mu covariance matrix sigma divided by n and that is the most important result in the multivariate normal distribution look at the second example or second result if x size are again my independent and random samples which are taken from the normal distribution multivariate normal distribution then your target is to find the distribution of this quantity again very simple now since x i is are my independent and random samples so i can start with the y so what is your target your target is to find the expected value of y and covariance of y now this is my target now x i is are my independent random samples coming from this multivariate normal distribution what does it implies because we need a x bar fine so what is the x bar as i defined in the previous result it come from normal distribution with the mean mu and variance covariance sigma by n now let's start with the expected value of y what is the value of the y root of n x bar minus mu fine now i can open this because what is the property of this what is the property of the expected value of the ax it is a times expected value of x so i can take root n is outside it comes to be x bar minus mu fine now i can open this bracket it comes to be expected value of x bar minus mu is a constant value so it is my mu what is expected value of the x bar this is the mean so that means this is root n mu minus mu that comes to be zero now second one is we have to find the covariance of y i can substitute the value of the y y is my root n x bar minus mu again i can use the same property what is the covariance of ax is a a square covariance of x so n into covariance of x bar minus mu fine this is my this quantity now again i can open them it is a covariance of x bar plus covariance of mu now since mu is a constant value covariance of the constant value is zero and what is the covariance of the x bar this is the covariance of x bar so the n sigma divided by n plus 0 so the result will be summation n so what does it implies that means y again follows the multivariate normal distribution with the mean 0 and covariance matrix sigma that means this will follows the multivariate normal distribution n and the covariance matrix sigma where p is my dimension of the multivariate distribution for example if x1 x2 and x5 so that means n will be my 25 fine and x1 x2 up to the x25 these are my samples which are taken from multivariate normal distribution with a 6 mu and sigma that means p is my 6 dimension of the multivariate normal distribution fine now find the distribution of x bar your target is to find this number and 5 times x bar minus mu find the distribution of this quantity a very simple if you remember these two results because x that is x1 up to x5 follows the multivariate normal distribution that means p is my 6 then what is the distribution of the x bar it follows the multivariate normal distribution with the mean mu sigma divided by n and the second result we have defined here is this 
again follows the multivariate normal distribution with the mean 0 and the covariance matrix sigma. Fine. Now I can substitute here what is the x bar? x bar will follow n is my p is my 6, mu is my mu and n is my 25. And for this case n is my 25, it is given to you as a 25 samples. So under root of 25 is my 5 x bar minus of mu. Again it follows the multivariate normal distribution with the p mean is 0, covariance matrix is sigma are my required answers fine and remember that these questions this kind of the question are frequently asked in the csr net as well as the gate examination so you must remember these two results in a very simple manner i hope you can like my video if you see it's very useful for you as well as comment on my video in the next lecture now we can see we have defined the x bar as a sample mean root n x bar minus mu is this distribution the next lecture will be how you can find the distribution of this combined term till then you can like share and comment on my video best of luck students happy learning